Community Viewpoint. And welcome once again to Community Viewpoint. Uh, this is part two of our two-part Christmas show, talking about uh, Christmas uh, ornaments and Christmas um, time, what we put out there electrically and physically outside to enhance the, uh, the mood of the Christmas season. So once again, we have from the Prump Valley Fire and Rescue, uh, Jared Oram, firefighter and paramedic, and Lieutenant Kevin Klickner will be talking to us a little bit more about the responsibilities that we have for safe Christmas. Um, we had talked about something new that's, that came out. Uh, it's called, I think, Star Shower. There might be other names uh, to that. It's a laser uh, item that you've seen uh, throughout the, uh, the valley. It's the latest uh, craze. But it is laser, uh, uh, has a laser function to it. And yeah, it's not really powerful, but uh, it can blind you uh, temporarily. And if you have someone landing or taking off in a, let's say, a helicopter, which we have here, or if someone driving past your home and you blind them and it's in an intersection, it may cause an accident. So please, if you're going to use that, make sure you read the instructions. And I'm sure it says to point it directly at a physical uh, uh, part of the, uh, your home, a wall, or indoors. Not at your animals, not at your uh, <laughs> your sleeping godfather or grandfather. So, do you have any more on that, or I think you basically touched base on it all there. Yeah. So I may be overcritical, but I have uh, issues with lasers, though, especially the green lasers. Though those those are very very dangerous, and please don't be using those at, at Christmas time. So we had a very interesting, a very good show uh, uh, last week. So this week we're going to do uh, a little bit more on that. We're going to be talking turkey yeah let's do that All right. I have two videos and I can't decide which one is the better uh, so we're gonna show you both of them it's about frying turkeys if, do you know anybody fries turkeys I've done a few myself even have you done it safely of course okay <laughs> we'll show you what can happen and how to do it safely and if you see me at the stores if you see us at the stores, let us know which of these two videos you like the best we're going to play them back to back and because i'm a, a old trekker you'll know why I, I like this one in particular but i don't know what one i know is going to play first but let's sit through both of them they're very entertaining <laughs> So you want to deep fry a turkey. Excellent choice. As far as I'm concerned, there are two basic food groups. Fried. And deep fried. Before you break out your bird, hang on a minute. You got to do this right. Make sure your turkey's thawed all the way. Turn off the burner when lowering the turkey into the oil to avoid flare-ups. You never want to hear <laughs> while frying a turkey. Use your fryer outdoors. Away from wooden structures. And always, always have a fire extinguisher on hand. Especially if you have an uncle named Cy. Si. Uh-oh. By the way, did you see which way my turkey went? Don't be like Cy. Si. Hang on a minute and think before you fry. Hey, I can fix this. I wonder when that turkey's coming down. How are you still alive? Hi, I'm William Shatner, and I love fried turkey. So join my Friars Club. But turkey and oil are a dangerous combination. So watch this video. I want your comments on it. I want to know how you plan to keep yourself, your family, and me 
safe from turkey fryer fire. I once loved this piece of metal, but our relationship ended suddenly. It started as a hunger. I want a moister, tastier turkey. I want a deep fried turkey. Back then, everyone was doing it. Turkey fryers flew off the shelves left and right. When I laid my hands on that fryer, I didn't want to let go. Pop. Thermometer. Dingle dangle? Uh -huh. Okay. Hot oil. Wet frozen turkey. Push together, make steam pushing the hot oil over the top and igniting on the open flame. Don't do that. I learned a great deal, but I was young and arrogant. Blinded by my hunger, I ignored safety, spat in the face of science. Turn off the flame. Damn it, Bill, that's too much oil. Where's the dingle dangle? Oh my goodness, what have I done? Oh, ow, 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 ow. Oh, look at this. Oh, that, that is so stupid. I loved you, but you only brought me pain. That friar took so much from me. Mostly arm hair, little skin. But it gave me a healthy fear. Fire, metal, oil, and turkey are glorious when in harmony. Turkey fryer. I always wanted to try that. But their power is unrelenting in careless hands. And it even has the dingle dangle. So let us know which one was your uh, favorite. Do you want to go over some of the tips, please? Some of the tips. I mean, you can see any kind of dangers that happen when you're frying the turkey. And it never fails every year. There's house fires from it, and people get injured just like on there. Um, biggest thing you want to do is avoid the spillover of the oil. You know, yeah. Watch how much you're pouring in there. Um, heat it up to the proper temperature. And before you put your turkey in, make sure it's fully thawed out. Make sure it's dried off and turn the flame off before you start lowering it down in so that any oil spillover you do have, there's not an open flame underneath the pot to ignite the oils. Um, and just be careful. Uh, keep it away from a house. Mm -hmm. you know, keep it out from underneath any overhangs or awnings. And a lot of people, you know, yeah. you see them out there doing it right in the front of their garage door or something, no. right underneath the overhang of their house. So you want to make sure you're away from the residence, away from any overhangs. and. And also, leave, you know, another good tip I heard was leave the alcohol alone before you start cooking it because it never entails, it never turns out good when the two are involved. You see what happened to Captain Kirk, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> he ended up doing the same thing, having your yeah. hands right. all burned up. Or... So there's so much responsibility with the, the Christmas season or any season that has a lot of decorations. We started with Thanksgiving, and then now, with, well, Christmas is the big season for the uh, wrapping paper. You never want to have that uh, close to a, a, a live fire, whether it be a fireplace or electric uh, <laughs> heater, because the paper burns quicker than uh, this paper that I have here, because it's very thin, and it has uh, dyes in there, too. You don't know, it usually comes from China. We don't know what they put in it for dyes and maybe an accelerant too. Mm -hmm. so, uh, so be careful with a lot of the uh, uh, your items and don't leave it next to the, the candle that we spoke of. Uh, what we have at home is these little electric pots that heat up these little pans with this little cube that makes the house smell good because I make it smell not good. <laughs>
games. <laughs> but that's one way of doing it. Also, uh, that there's a big uh, uh, call for those uh, little little uh, heating pots like that too. But if you have a candle, make sure it's in some sort of a glass dish that if the candle does come out, it uh, spills over, it'll go into a, a waiting receptacle. Uh, anything else that you could think of uh, that's pertinent for Pahrump that we, uh, we have to look out for? Uh, yeah, John, there's um, kind of what Lieutenant Clickner was talking about with the, with the turkey fryer. Uh, you got to make sure that if you're going to be using, uh, that goes the same with your barbecue grills as well. Mm. Uh, make sure those are away from the house, uh, away from anything that might, away from anything that might catch on fire. Um, those do get hot as well, and they can transfer over to your house where you'll get uh, extensive property damage, uh, structure fire, anything else along those lines. Um, and with fireplaces, uh, these fireplaces, a lot of times people have traditions of cooking in their in their fire fireplaces. Oh, true. Um, and so you want to make sure that you'll have. Um, have those screens that are in front of the fireplace. Mm -hmm. So in case any kind of wood uh, sparks out or anything like that, that you're not gonna catch your carpet or rugs or anything like that on fire. Uh, so just make sure uh, if you're gonna be using anything related to fire or anything like that, stay safe over the holidays. All right, keep the cats away from the uh, <laughs> extension cords. We, we spoke of uh, mm -hmm. um, uh, Chevy Chase with the Christmas stuff. Christmas vacation. Yeah. Christmas good vacation. Movie. Yeah, so don't let them chew on the cords. If the cords are chewed, they're frayed. Get rid Get of them, please. Cord. Yeah, because if the cord is frayed, it means the, uh, the insulation may be frayed and it may short out, and hopefully you have a correct breaker or a ground fault interrupter. There's so much that we've gone over. There's so much responsibility. Thank you, gentlemen. We hope you have Thank a you. very Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and we will see you next year here giving you the same tips and maybe some new uh, uh, turkey frying videos. So thank you. Community Viewpoint.